Mm. What's going on, peeps? So yesterday, man, I drive to blow. I drive yesterday. I'm going to start feel. I'm going to start feel a car spotter. Like it now. Nah, it's a buck buck. And unusual. I'm not sure what caused it. So anyway, anytime it starts, it starts fine. But then I'm going to try a rev. Oh, it doesn't know. Anyway, when I try a rev, it couldn't go over 3000. So it went into limp mode and then the check engine light came on. So <coughs> use my handy dandy scan tool. It's one of the best investments I ever make to blow because I must have bought three or four thousand dollars like cost to scan a vehicle. And sometimes you can't you, you not have it. So I just make that investment here and buy this blue driver. It work with the phone. Of course, you plug it in, and you 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 blah de blah de blah, and you blah and you blah some more, and but it eventually find out say, well, based on how the code come up, um, P zero three three five, I think of that, and it it has said the crankshaft position sensor A. So the crankshaft I got bad, um, so I already scan it, I can't show it. Um, I got put up on picture, I think. Hopefully, it go. Um, so, end up finding out the crankshaft. Um, so, luckily, I have one. And the one we installed located behind the crankshaft pulley. I'm going to take out the wheel and show you. Alright, so the wheel come off. This is a crank pulley. Uh, you know, so the pulley connected to the belt, blah de, blah de, blah. But this is a crank sensor. Um, beer aisle, I see around it. So I assume say, uh, the power steering issue that I have with the line because all of the oil up on the power steering. But and that will look on today. So we're going to change out this here. So I think you pull off, pull off, them, pull off the harness. Alright, so I'm gonna just get it out. And it was, as mentioned, behind, behind the, the crankshaft pulley. So this is the harness, right here, so, and this is where it come from. I'm not sure if you can see it, but yeah, so this is where it come from. And this is how it look like. Right, this is how it look like. So this is the old one, full of oil, because it will come out of the, the engine block basically. And this is the new one. Um, all I need to do I remove the screw, we'll lock on to here. So, so move the screw, we'll lock in here. So it's a 10, 10 millimeter. So I'm going to put in the new one. So, shove them down side by side, make sure you say the same thing. This is the old one. It's a new yeah, one. And boom, the new one gone in. And I'm gonna scan it again and see what comes up. <laughs> 